if you ever hate someone because of the person's tribe religion know that you don't have a place in this particular place or particular channel hello guys welcome back once again it is my youtube channel hello i don't care if you are Igbo or if you are yoruba or if you are an Aosa person but if you ever hate a man or somebody that god created or because of the person's tribe or because of the person's religion you are some you are something else i can literally tell you for free provided that the person is not causing any harm on you but remember we can't we will never you know stop criticizing the activities of anybody no matter your ethnic group especially you know those that you know are, are, are interested in this by god after the 20th presidential election whether you are Igbo, yoruba or Hausa, we will keep on calling them out in my so in my previous video i have called out a lot of people especially during the 20th presidential election some people that we are used or manipulated by the apc i know they they deceive them into you know uh, 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 destroying a very beautiful statement of uh, being the yoruba Runu statement which was made in order to promote the yoruba culture and you know promote peace and make them to be more loving but apc decided to change that particular word to buy godry and change the euro baron to buy godry that i have been calling them out and in, in the same way i've been calling out some evil leaders those that are quite selfish and those that are you know you know are, are being manipulated and used by the north to stop this regional government and all that we don't care we don't care we, 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 your tribe provided you do anything wrong we'll call you we'll call you out and we'll tell you the blunt and truth in this particular channel well today the only of ife as a matter of fact have come out to talk about the union and the similarities uh, uh between the Igbos and the yorubas i've said it i'll, I'll continue to say that the Igbos and the yorubas are in fact the two tribes that have been coexisting peacefully in fact they have the highest number of intermarriages i don't think the Igbo, uh, any other tribe in nigeria has the highest number of intermarriages if not for uh, between the yorubas and the Igbos. and this is what 23 presidential election wanted to stop i can boldly and literally tell you for free and some people started hating themselves because of politicians all these political jobbers they allowed political jobbers to destroy them with ethnicity and uh, and by godry which is not well i'm going to show you what the uh, only of ife said let me show you some of the things that the only on, on, on of ife said you know when i tell you that you should not listen to all these political jobbers these selfish politicians the only what they only know is to use by godry and religion at least and religion to divide us because it is for their own selfish interest you you might think they're actually fighting for you but they're not fighting for you you might think they are actually fighting for you. They are not fighting for you. Immediately they use you. They will dump you. I know. Continue to embezzle money. This, this, this is what Nigerian politicians are literally known for. Let me show you what the owner of Ife recently said. As a question, he said, it is true. We are the same in my place. Till date, I still have a house of Igbo. Only of Ife. Let me repeat myself again. You can see the headline. that It is true. We are the same in my palace. The, till, till date, that he still has a house. A, he still has a house of Igbo in his palace. This is what the only of Ife said. You know, I keep on telling people, though I will show you the proper context and everything that he said about this, you know, when I tell people that you should not listen to all these politicians that are trying to use religion and ethnicity to divide us, don't listen to them. They, are, they don't mean well for you. Look, look at our House of Assembly members and House of Assembly members and House of Fifth Amendment members. Majority of them are only there for their pockets. None of them do anything for their constituencies. No, since they've won an election, they will not do anything. But during the election, they will tell you, ah, don't vote for this person, he's from Ibu. Don't vote for this person, he's from Yoruba. Don't vote for this person, he's from this. And when they finally go there, our politicians, our rich, uh, the elites are united together. But they will use ethnicity and uh, uh, and uh, religion to divide the poor. So the poor cannot come together and you know, uh, hold them accountable. So in proper context, look at what this Oni of Ife said, as you can see on the screen. They said that the Oni of Ife, you know, is one of the you know popular and one of the biggest uh, or the big uh, uh, traditional leaders we have in the Euro Balland, if not the number one, actually. He said, they said the Oni of Ife, Adeyeye Ogunwusi, you know, has shared his thoughts on his upcoming 50th birthday celebrations, legacy projects, and the rich cultural heritage of the Yoruba and the Igbo ethnic groups. He said, according to reports by Premium Times on Saturday, the Oni of Ife stressed the importance of harnessing historical knowledge to understand the shared ancestries of the two groups, that is the Igbos and the Yorubas. Now, the Oni, who is said to unveil 50 legacy projects as part of his anniversary celebration, expressed his passion for highlighting the ancient connections between the Yoruba and the Igbo races. Between the Yoruba and the Igbo races. You know, just uh, follow me along. He said that the Igbo and Yoruba are among the oldest races in the world and that they share a common heritage. He went for that to say something. They said that they share a, a common heritage. He said, I tell people and many people don't understand that there is a strong link between the Yorubas and the Igbos. Let me use this, those two races. They are very ancient races. Races, it's 
been proven that these two races are the oldest in the world. This is what the only of his if he said he said that the Yoruba and the Igbo race, Igbo race are the you know, oldest races uh, we have in the entire world. He went for that to say something. He said, but when I try to establish the link between Yorubas and the Igbos, a lot of people take it as a controversial thing. But let's break it down. He said, it is true. We are the same. It is true. We are the same. You people should take out the key points here. It is true. We are the same. In my palace, to date, I still have a house of Igbo, pronounced as Igbo in Igbo people. Speaking further, he said that we are the only leaves is called the Ile Igbo. Adding that Igbo means new drawn to the Yoruba and Ife people. In addition to that, he said that Igbo means I, that Igbo means Ile Igbo and that it stands for starting afresh. He, he added that the Igbo people probably might not know about this because they may have their own meaning too. This is what this only of Ife said. You know, he went further to say something. And look at what he said about the Igbos again. He said that the Jews came from Igbo because you can't plant kola nuts in Israel. It will not grow. Only of Ife. He said something. They said in a recent interview with Premium Times, the only of Ife, Adeye Ogunshi, shared intriguing perspectives on the cultural connections between the Yoruba and Igbo communities. Now, he said, while referencing the Igbo claim of Jewish ancestry, the only Pose thought-provoking questions about the origins of kola nuts, a significant cultural symbol in both culture. You know, the kola nut is a very significant uh, 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 cultural symbol for both the Yoruba and the Igbo culture. The only highlighted the unique growth of kola nuts exclusively in Yoruba land, then and you know other places. Then he even mentioned the interesting notion that the kola nuts allegedly only responds to Igbo language. This only of if you know responded and said that the kola not allegedly responds to Igbo. when it comes to the Igbo culture when you want to bless the, the kola it, you cannot use English to speak over the kola you must always use the traditional language being the Igbo uh, language and this is what the only of if is pointing out and the same thing uh, you know happens to the Yoruba uh, 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 race too and you could see the similarities and the connections between these two races then he said this statement has sparked fascinating discussions about the rich cultural heritage and historical exchanges between the Yoruba and the Igbo nations. He said something. The only words encourage us to explore and appreciate the depth of our cultural diversity, acknowledging the shared values and tradition that unite us. Now look at what he said. He said, sometimes the Igbo say they are from the Jews, from the Jewish side. I wonder, no, the Jews came from Igbo because you cannot plant kola nut in Israel. It will not grow. Why are you so particular about kola nut? You could see, hear what this particular man is saying. That the Igbos should know that, that, that even Israel itself you know, came from them, not like the Igbos came from the uh, Israelites and all that, because since our culture, since the Kola not has a significant in the Israel, uh, Israeli culture, but meanwhile it doesn't grow there, that means it grows in Nigeria here. That means these people came from us, and that is literally what the culture or what only of Ife is, is saying. But in summary, he's, he's trying to promote the unity of Igbos and the Yorubas. I've said it, don't allow politicians to divide us. That is the only thing they only know how to do, divide and rule system. Well, that's that for that, honestly speaking with you. On another developing story, you know, we have a lot of stories here. On another developing story, there's some news you hear sometimes, you, you keep on wondering, why is this nation like this? Now, look at this news that Zanfra lawmaker marries off 105 orphans in mass wedding. These are female orphans. How, how is this a reasonable thing or a charitable thing to do? These are, you can see the faces of these young ladies. They are orphans and young women. Instead of you to empower them and, you know, educate them and give them the necessary things they need in life to make their life choices, if they want to get married to any man, at least they will know that this is a man I truly love, not marrying them off to all these rich men in the northern part of the country. And you expect that you won't, you, you won't have illiterates and probably you won't have a, 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 a marital crisis and a, a lot of, you know, failures, you know, in some places. How can you marry off 105 orphans? In mass wedding, and, and this is what a, a, a federal lawmaker in the country, in our country, is doing. A federal lawmaker in our country, look at what this person is doing. He did not give these people proper education. He did not give them jobs. These are the fundamental things you are supposed to do for them. They are waking them, their spirit and expose them to you know a civilization. It is not left for them to make their choices. But no, you you won't do those basic ones. Rather, you just to marry them off. I can boldly and literally tell you for free that this is all shades of wrong i can tell you look at in proper context look at the uh, the, uh or the, the the lawmaker they said that the lawmaker representing maru bungu the federal consistency in zafra state being abdul malik zubari has married off 105 orphans whose parents were killed by armed bandits in zafra state. you could imagine their parents were killed and instead of you to you know this is why the west is better than us instead of you to give them proper uh, education and proper you know uh, uh, civilization everything you, your number one goal is to marry them off to 
rich men that will manipulate and probably use them as housewives and house tools and, you are, and they will not even contribute to the growth and development of the nation. They said the occasion which took place in Saturday in Bungodi town, the headquarters of Bungodi local government area of the state, was attended by prominent personalities both within and outside the state. It, to tell you that how can prominent personalities attend such shameful thing? How can prominent and these people are coming probably these are more, some of the people that these orphans are being married off to. You're not Henry help to them, rather you're exposing them to more risk. <laughs> 